much has changed since the Heat and Knicks last met in Miami on February 23rd. Mike D'Antoni stepped down as head coach of the Knicks. He was replaced by Mike Woodson. And with that change, the Knicks have improved dramatically. Nice pass. Their defense shot to the top of the NBA since Woodson took over. Lynn Sanity, remember that? Well, it went away as Knicks backcourt sensation Jeremy Lin has been out with a severe knee injury. Another New York star, Amari Stoudemire, is also out with a bulging disc in his back. As Anthony knocks in another three. Carmelo Anthony, though, is leading the way as the Knicks fight for their playoff lives. LeBron caught the air ball, hits ahead for Wade, made a great catch! Touchdown, Miami! As for the Heat, they clinched a playoff spot in early April. That was a foregone conclusion for a team the experts expect to go all the way to the NBA Finals again this season. Today's game against the Knicks is the first of eight games in 12 days for the Heat in a final stretch heading into the playoffs at the end of the month. The Heat can't afford to overlook the Knicks, not only because they may face them in the first round of the playoffs, but because the Heat themselves are fighting for the top seed in the Eastern Conference. But the seeding may not matter much in the end. I was number one seed for two years straight in Cleveland. I keep telling you guys, we didn't, we didn't win. Right. You know, we was the number two seed last year, we got to the finals, and we still, we didn't, you know, we didn't win um, last year. I don't, I don't really care about seeding. Madison Square Garden in New York City, the mecca of basketball. We're coming up shortly. It'll be the Heat battling the New York Knicks. And inside, short time ago, Chris Bosch, two members of the Heat, warming up for today's game. A game you can see right here on Local 10 and ABC, just about an hour away at the top of the hour. <laughs> First quarter, New York turning it over. Here's Dwayne Wade. We've seen it so many times this year. The great passing alley-oop to his good friend LeBron James, who throws it down. Quick start for Miami. Still in the first. This time, it's LeBron with the steal, who's going to find Wade in transition. Wade is going to pull up, knock down the jumper. Miami up, out to a lead by seven. Second quarter is when Carmelo Anthony gets very hot. Driving layup here. Melo keeping the Knicks in the game. How about this? He finished with 42 points, their lone source of offense to the fourth after the Knicks took the lead. Chris Bosch drives lane. There he is, two-handed slam. Bosch coming through in the clutch in the fourth. Heat fans got to love to see that. He closed the game with an 18-6 run. Wade big in the fourth, driving in. Man, he does this so nicely. Melo floater in the lane. Wade, 28 points, nine rebounds. Then LeBron puts the game away seconds later. He's going to hit the jumper. All he did was well, 29 points and 10 boards. He beat the Knicks 93-85. And yes, not that it was in question, but they do wrap up the division.